Good day there, traders. Very rough day, huh? Look at this fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, very rough. You know, a lot of people, they, they trade where they'll see the price <clears throat> come up here. They'll buy up here. Then you see what they did? They rammed it right back down. And then they see the prices down here. And they'll go, oh, maybe we're going to take it down, you know, with some follow through. <laughs> and they take the price back up to the midpoint of this range. Then there's people who buy in here. And they take it down and they take out their stops down here. And they're selling somewhere down in here. And then they take it back up again. And they just follow this vicious cycle because they know they're fucking shaking out the longs from up here. They're shaking them out here. They're shaking out the sellers from here up here. Then they're shaking out the longs again way down here it comes. People are selling again or they've given up by now. You see what I'm saying? And then they have, they know people will be selling here, they take it back up here. They know people will be buying up here, they'll fucking take it down here. Then there are people will be selling here, they take it back up here, way up. And really get you. And then, if you're a divergence trader, <laughs> you know, I'm not saying I did this today, I'm just saying. All I know is trying to trade the open. Today, they, they, they stretched it out. Usually, this fucking crap's over by 10 o'clock. Yeah. It's like they took it right till 10.30 or, or even longer, maybe 10.45 before they finally had some follow-through to the downside. No follow through, 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 no follow through. It's a fucking song. You can write a fucking song about it. And they're sitting there and they're going, <laughs> I'm telling you, there's some little fucker. I'm sure he's no taller than fucking four foot five. He's, he's, he's got the, he's got the mouse. And he controls the price. He moves it here, and then he moves it here. Then he moves it back here, then back up here. That's what's going on. It's not volume. It's not fucking volume. It's not liquidity. I don't believe that. I just don't. I believe it's somebody moving their mouse and taking the price wherever they want it to go. Yeah, that's what I believe. So anyway, we had divergence here. If you could wait that long... Right there, you would have got in, right in here. And uh, yeah, so then on the way down, along the way, we had a higher close. Hooray, hooray. And right here, I did this one. And it rammed right down. But I did a couple fuck-ups in here first. Um... I'd say I got a little bit past break even. Maybe enough to go to McDonald's. Not that I eat that fucking crap. But anyway, um, that's what I think of it now. Just ugh, crap. It's just horrible. Did you know that they made the french fries skinnier at McDonald's? <laughs> I know, you're probably thinking I'm a fucking nut bar. I... Like, like I've said before, I'm kind of one of those people like Sheldon off the Big Bang Theory. Everything's got to be perfect and precise. Well, I have a really good, I guess, fo photographic memory, especially for food. And six months ago, I think I already told this story. They fucking, the corporation made it the, the French fries skinnier. So now that they're skinnier, okay, there's less potato moisture, I guess you could say, in, you know, in, in the French fry. So they come out like crispy. <clears throat> Sorry, my mouth, <coughs> my throat dried up. <coughs> so 
So yeah, that's what they've done at McDonald's and they don't even taste the same. They're just dried up fucking crispy french fries. If you like crispy french fries, well then good, go there. But I couldn't believe it when I noticed that. I, I, it was like six months ago. And I picked up a fry and I started looking at it and twirling it a little bit to see it. All the angles of, you know, around the french fry in diameter. And I go, you fucking bastards. They, they, they made new cutters for their potatoes that cut them about 20%. That's right. Only f maybe even less. Maybe 15%. Because how much can you trim off of a fucking french fry? Right? That's what they did. And nobody's complaining about it because they're they've been doing it ever since. Because pe most people would never notice something like that. Only me, only me. Anyway, so there was the two higher clothes. Sell it down it goes. Higher clothes. Sell it down it goes. Really good on this one. And of course, what did they do? They swept the bottom of this one. This low earlier in, uh, you know, it was at 9, 9.30. They came and swept it. Now they're going to probably take it back up here or stop somewhere in the midpoint and sell it down again. Who knows? But there's the three setups, okay? That's them right there. If you got through this fucking shit and were able to do one of these setups right here, God bless your trading account. Okay. So let's now look at. Ah, we should look at the. The mess. The S and the P. Is it pretty much the same shit? Actually, yes, but. We had a nice setup right here. Well, we just tweak it a little bit, you know. We just tweak it. Just pretend this was higher. <laughs> this high, this this high here. This one looks higher. Yeah, that one. There we go. Just a little tweak. Just a little tweak. Maybe we draw it to this one. Low and lower low. This one high. This one. This means that. Right there, man. Right on the opening of this candle, you would have bought it. And what do we have right here? Oh, we have some setups on here. Nice, nice. Right there, boom. Sell fake, buy it back up. You would have bought it right here on the opening of this candle, right here. I should put something there to show you so you, so you for sure understand what I mean. Okay, so here is the diamond for the hookup, which is a sell fake. But, but you don't get into the trade until the price comes back up above both moving averages and right on to the opening of this candle, that's where you'd get in. I know it's kind of crazy. you got to wait like two candles to form before you jump in the trade, right? And we had uh, lower close, buy it, up it goes. And we had another one, did we? Yeah, lower close right here. Buy it and up it goes. And then what did we have here? A hookup, a hookup. Right here. Boom, there's the sell fake. And then your entry, see the entry would have been way up here, see? I don't know if you'd want to buy way up there. But say you got in just above this wick right here. Well, you would have been good. You would have you would have got something out of it. Everybody knows you need to take profit at the most recent swing high right here. So you would have made a little something on it. Not a ton, but a little. A little bit. And look at this. Red candles all the fucking way down. Not one uh, higher close. Sell it down it goes. The only thing you could have sold is this uh, <clears throat> this wick here. When it came up, could have looked to sell in there, but I I prefer to wait for the candle to turn blue, a higher close candle, you know. 
so that for sure you know it's a it's it's set up and it's it's a, it's a not an authentic trade but a, a for sure 100% setup a triple plus setup <laughs> okay so here's a lower close buy it right here up it goes and that is the s and that is the p the s and the p golly okay let's go to metatrader now biggest scam platform on the planet yes we'll have pretty much same trades this is five minute right yeah oh no my hernia is giving me pain i gotta go walk that off you know you know when you get hurt and the coach says ah just just walk it off walk it off keep walking walk it off and you're in excruciating pain and he's telling you walk it off You'll be okay. Walk it off. I said, I got to go do it. I got to go walk it off. Not whack it off. Walk it off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mine's in the gutter today. Ah, uh, what do we got here? What do we got? We got we got a double bottom here. Look at this. Five minutes. Yeah. Double bottom. Right there like that. And you would have got in right there on the opening of this candle, and it was good. It was good. Okay, S and P. Yeah, we have that same. This is the five minute now, eh? We we're looking at the two minute on the ninja. Okay, so we got a double bottom here and here. And you would have got in long right in here. And it was good. And then we had a lower close. Oh, that's actually, well, that's a hookup. So we need the hookup thing right there. You want to bot it up in here and have it go. Not too far, but up it went. And then the Dow. Oh, look at the Dow. I think we have some. Divergence right in here like that. Low and lower low. I just want to say, if there if there are some of you who I don't even put the line on yet, I'm just about to do it. Can you see, before I do it almost, where I'm going to draw the line and where the divergence is? If you can see that, like I just said, then you're getting good. You're spotting divergence, just like you know, like I can, like I can do it, kind of thing. But anyway, there's the lower lows, and uh, oh, <laughs> I don't know. Mid flight, you would have got in maybe just above these wicks. What the fuck was that? Oh, well, that was that news. Wow, did it ever affect? The news, the stupid home sales or whatever the hell it is, sure did affect the Dow. Wow, 137 points it went up. All right. And we have divergence up here too. A high and a higher high and a lower high on the Osma. And you would have got the, the sell right there. And it went down 110, 111 points right there. Okay, let's, oh no, we're not looking at the pound or the euro anymore. Pound yen, here we go. Let me just get some water. Yeah, it's sticking out at you like a sore thumb. Higher highs. And a lower high on... The Osma on this side. So that means it is divergent. You would have sold it there and it went down 38 points. Pips on the pound yen. There's more divergence here too. Just have to tweak it a little bit.
There's a good trade there and there, and there is one more. It's up here, double top. Yeah, see? Yeah. And you would have got short in there. So far, it's went down 21 pips. And then the Euro Yen. Oh, Euro Yen's looking mighty ugly today. Oh, okay. But it had divergence way up here. So it got short in there. And it went down. Oh, right down at the bottom, it went down over 100, 100 pips. On the EJ. And then oil. Oh, that's a 15 minute. Yeah, I'm just trying to think, what would be the reason why they would sell it off now like crazy? It was going up. Now they're fucking selling it off like crazy. Maybe because they didn't get Don, you know what I mean? Don survived. Right on, Don. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, 15 minute, yeah, 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 there is divergence. High and higher high. And they're still tanking it. We're going into the 70s now per barrel. All right. So there was the divergence. And uh, yeah, and it worked out really good. And we have higher close, sell it down, it goes. Higher close, higher close, higher close, higher close. You see all those trades all the way down? I don't have to mark them. You see them. Okay, let's look at gold now. Better put it on the 15. Yeah. Low and lower low, but the, the, this one's too big. It's not it's not a setup. However, <clears throat> there is a setup from yesterday to the high, higher highs. There it is, there it is. Put it got in right here. And it went down 115 points. Higher highs. And the entry was right there. Went down about 58 points so far. Okay, so that's it for the markets that we look at or trade or whatever. And then we'll, like I said in the video yesterday, oh, I better say it again. We're going we're gonna to just look at the cryptos on Mondays or Fridays, something like that. Today's Tuesday, but we'll, we'll look, okay? Bitcoin, oh, it's still up there, coming back a little bit. XRP came back a little bit but still doing good. I'm surprised it hasn't come all the way back down here. I love to see it take out the highs, man. $3 or something. But that's still not good enough for me. I need more. I want to see 100 bucks, Or or more. Or better. <clears throat> Silver? Oh, she's coming down, man. She's going to come down. These, this is the monthly we're looking at now, and the weekly on Ethereum. It's just sitting there like Bitcoin, not doing jack shit. So anyway, once again, this is Jason Sweezy. Um, it was a really rough chopping day today, as you can see. And I hope you got through it and at least got break even or a small loss or, or even a profit. <clears throat> if you trade support and resistance, you probably made a profit. It's going all the way back up now. I can see it right now. It's going back up. See? This shit. They take it down, drag you down the gutter, then they take you up to heaven. Uh, that's what they do. 
So anyway, thanks for watching and listening and uh, coming out today. Check it out. Hope you come back tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you trade the power hour this afternoon, good luck and good trading.